Cement is a hydraulic binder. That means it reacts with water, sticking all the other ingredients together. It's what gives concrete its strength and durability. So how is cement made? Safety first. Some people think that cement is made by simply grinding rocks. But making cement is a complex, controlled, high-tech, high-temperature process. Inside the central control room in the cement factory, every step of the process is overseen, monitored and controlled. Cement starts out as natural rock from local quarries. And controlled explosions are used to extract the rock. Once quarried, the rocks, mainly limestone and shale, are then milled to a fine powder by one of those crushing machines I mentioned earlier. But that's only the start. The fine powder is then sampled and tested around the clock using high-tech robots to ensure we have the right mix of minerals. The next step involves extreme temperatures. And to get these temperatures, we need to burn fuel. In the past, we only used fossil fuels. But now the cement industry is replacing fossil fuels with locally produced alternative fuels made from waste materials, which is good for our business and also good for the environment. Inside the cement kiln, which is the heart of the factory, the temperature must reach 1450 degrees centigrade. At this temperature, the minerals begin to melt and flow like lava, and then combine to form a new compound called clinker. The clinker is cooled as it leaves the kiln. The clinker is tested, and once it meets the right standard, it is milled into fine grey cement powder. We take a look at how waste is replacing fossil fuels in our cement kilns. We all try to do the right thing with waste. Some materials can be easily recycled, like glass and aluminium cans. But have you ever wondered what happens to the waste that's not recycled? When the bins are collected, the waste normally goes back to the waste facility. Here, the different types of waste are sorted and sent off to be processed back into new bottles, cans, paper and plastics. That's the best use of resources, making like for like. But what about the leftover materials, the waste that's not recycled? Well, in the past, this waste was sent to landfill, where its value was lost and it sometimes caused pollution. Now, in partnership with the waste industry, our cement kilns use this residual waste as a local fuel called SRF, Solid Recovered Fuel. By using SRF, we can help reduce imports of fossil fuels. We need small, dry particles to fuel the kilns, so the waste is shredded and sieved and magnets are used to remove any small metal pieces. We sample all the deliveries to make sure we're getting the right quality. The temperature inside our cement kilns must reach 1450 degrees centigrade to melt the raw materials, the limestone and shale. This is the critical temperature for the cement clinker to form. At these extreme temperatures, every part of the fuel is fully consumed. That means we recover all of the energy and any minerals from the fuel become part of the cement clinker. This is known as co-processing, where energy recovery and recycling happen in parallel inside the cement kiln. It means the cement industry is the perfect waste recovery option because everything is used and no waste is produced. The importance of co-processing has been recognised in Europe because it helps to recover discarded resources, keeping them out of landfill and instead feeding them back into the circular economy. And it's not just SRF that's used. A wide range of different local waste materials are suitable for the cement industry. Used tyres are a perfect example. Each year in Europe, the cement kilns help to recover a mountain of used tyres. You want to do the right thing with your waste, and so do we. See you next time.